the Social Security Administration, Amy Renee. How may I assist you today? Uh, hello? W I'm sorry? What's this all about? What, am I in any trouble or anything? or what, What's going on here? P please explain it. Because yeah, I'm right, really so scared right now, dear. Alright. So, before going ahead and giving you any kind of information, it's very important that I should verify you so that I can make sure that I'm giving the information to the right person who this call is in regards to. So, could you go ahead and verify me your first and your last name? Uh, yes, my, my first name's Gr Gregory. Yeah, yeah, it's my first name's Gregory. And, and my last name, Johnson. Gregory Johnson, right? Uh, uh, y yes, dear. All right, and could you go ahead and verify? Could you go ahead and verify me the zip code of your current billing address? Uh, yes, dear. It's two five three zero four. Hold on a moment, Mr. John. All right, so Mr. Johnson, the reason that you received a call today is to inform you about a case that is being investigated wherein your socials have been found suspicious for fraudulent and illegal activities. So has the local police department informed you about this investigation? Uh, uh, dear, what, what is all this? P police? Uh, no, I haven't heard from anyone. Uh, wh what's going okay, on here? So in that case, so in that case, sir, I want you to grab a piece of paper and a pen, and I want you to make a note of every information that I would be providing you, so you will be having acknowledgement about when and how was this case being investigated. All right? All right, dear. All right, so you have. Ready with a pen and a paper handy? Let me know. I, I actually have one right beside where I'm sitting down, so so I'm ready right now, dear. Alright. So, Mr. Johnson, the first information that I want you to make a note of is my name and my reference ID number. It's a weird and the information is for security purposes. My name is Amy Renee. Do you want me to go ahead and spell that for you? Amy. Is it A M M Y? A -Y. Yeah, A M Y. Okay, A M M Y. Yeah, A M Y. And the last name is Renee. R E N N E. Renee. Amy Renee. All right. Okay. Now write down my reference ID number. Refer. Are you ready? Yes, dear. All right. The reference ID number is SSA. That is S as in Sierra. S as in Sierra. A as in Alpha. SSA. Eight five five one zero. Eight five. Wait, wait. Come out for that. Eight five five one zero. Oh. Eight five five one zero. Oh. Okay. All right. Now write down your case ID number. All right. What's my case ID number? All right. Your case ID number is L as in Lima, M as in Mike. L. That is L, L M. O O O. O O O. Three seven seven. Three seven seven. All right. Now, below that, write down your warrant ID number. Warrant ID number. Are you ready? Uh, yes, I'm ready. Okay. So your warrant ID is T as in Tango. T is a tango. That is an X-ray. 
6480. 64480. Zero. 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 All right. right. Okay. So, Mr. Johnson, as you've uh, written down every information provided to you regarding the case, I want you to go ahead and reconfirm the case ID and the warrant number so I can make a confirmation over my data that you have the right details. All right. Yes, so go ahead and reconfirm in the case ID and the warrant number. Uh, LMO 0037 All right. TX 4480. 80. Yeah. All right, so Mr. Johnson, as you have written down all the details regarding the case, I'm going to go further and read out the affidavit that has been investigated under your social number. So now before going ahead with this information, I just want to update you that this call has been monitored and recorded by the Social Security Administration. So uh, it, it's being recorded. How? How, how, was, how do they record the phone? Because this call has been recorded. It's a federal call. Uh, I just mean, how do they do it, though? I don't know you can record phone calls. You can record phone calls if they have to be used as a proof. So this call is in regards as a observation and as a part of our job. You ask them anything else other than the call, script, they crumble. The and you can tell what was the misuse of your personal information. So this call has been recorded so that we have an evidence of it. Wait, so it's being recorded by who you said? The social what? Social security? Yeah, by, yeah, by the Social Security Administration. Okay. All right. Okay, so Mr. Johnson, I do not want you to interrupt me while I'm reading out the case details. Of course not, dear. I never you would be given, you. Okay, as you would be given fair enough chances to ask your questions once I'm done. Is that clear? Yes, thank you, dear. All right. So, Mr. Johnson, the investigation <coughs> started when we found this abandoned car on the south border of Texas. The make and model of this car was a black Toyota Corolla. A black what? A black what? Black Toyota Corolla 2010. Toyota Camry. Toyota Corolla. Oh, a Toyota Corolla 2012. All right. On a highway. Huh. All right. Well, that's suspicious. So while investigating, Mr. Johnson, while I am reading out the case, I've informed you that did not interrupt me. Uh, of course you not, dear. Fair enough chances to ask your questions. Go ahead. You are interrupting no one's stopping me. you, dear. Okay, now while investigating this case, on this car, we found out that the car was rented under your name. This car was lying idle on the streets at when the locals reported about this car to be suspicious, which after the local sheriff department investigated this car, they found blood and drug samples which kept them completely suspicious. Bro, now, further on this investigation... What drug, drug residue found? Sir, I have told you, like, I'll be informing yeah, everything about the case. I have a question, case. dear. What, what residue was question, found? You need to ask. If you have a question, you can ask me once I'm done reading to you. I can you answer you. now, please, dear? I would really like to know. It. Cocaine. I'd, I would probably forget the question. Cocaine. Oh, God. That's not good, dear. Now, while we investigated this, and there were two addresses that were linked with the title of this vehicle. The first address is 877 Hillside, El Paso, Texas, and the second Texas. address is 899. I'm Texas. I know that, so. Northfield Road, Cross Road. Roller, Texas. Now, do you recognize any of the above mentioned addresses? Yes or no? N to the O. All right. Have you visited Texas in the past three to four months? Heck no. I'm sorry? Heck no. All right. Not a problem. 
Also to update you, Mr. John, the address is mentioned above were already found suspicious as they well were being even raided by the U.S. Marshals. Now, unfortunately, there was no one at this residence, but they recovered a consignment containing 18 to 20 pounds of cocaine, which, as you know, is an abusive drug. Well, that's not it. 80 to it 20? Yeah. Yeah, because people usually do say it like that. They wouldn't say, like, 20 to 80. They would say 80 to 20. Sir, let me complete... Right. I said 80 to 20 dollars. 80 to 20 One pounds. 18 to 20 pounds of cocaine. That's interesting. Alright, continue, dear. Go ahead. Sir, do not interrupt me. I have told you so I'm many I'm not interrupting times. you, dear. You can continue. You are. Do not ask me any questions. Well, I need to know. I, uh... Yes. yes. If you well, you need to know. You can make a deal of those questions, and once I'm done reading out the entire case, All right, case, dear. I'll just you ask, you. ask Thank you. Me. Go ahead. All right. Thank you. Also, there were papers and documentations being investigated in so financial institutes, such as Wells Fargo, TD Bank, Chase Bank, Bank of America, and the U.S. Bank. Now, when we are verifying all the bank accounts, they have all been registered under your name and under your social oh number. Oh gosh. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm with TD Bank. The question arises while we are investigating on these banking statements with their respective financial institutes. We found more than $200,000 that were being wired from these accounts. Was the TD Bank account number 2533? Sir, I did not need any of your personal information. Well, I'm asking if that, that was the account. That's the last four. There were many various bank accounts, and we did not have the information of various. the bank Various? How many under the TD number. Bank? There were two bank accounts under the TD Bank. Well, th those are probably mine, then, because I have a checking a right. and a savings. Now, Mr. Johnson, I told you, let me finish reading out my case. If you have anything She's so to say, bad. Or any question to give, or any statements to make, you can tell them once I'm done reading. So, out so the are those my bank accounts, then, sweetheart? And while we investigated all these banking accounts, there were two hundred and two hundred thousand dollars that were being wired okay. from these Makes accounts sense. locally and internationally. Also, there were twelve debit cards and eight credit cards that were also been found under your name. Oh God! And that is the only reason there's a case being filed under your name. For drug trafficking as well as for money laundering. So, Mr. John, do you have any questions regarding the case that has been informed to you about? Can you just say one thing for me? Yes. Can you say subscribe and like the video? Sorry. Can you just repeat that? <laughs>